Hi guys! Long time no videos. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Now that I'm back home, guess what I got in the mail? I am so... Oh, I am so excited to do this. It's the 23andMe... What is this? Ew, saliva collection kit. Yummy. I'm gonna test my my little chromosomes and I'm going to find out if I am white 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 or a little bit of something spicy. Let's hop in. It comes with this saliva collection kit. Yeah, and inside the saliva collection kit, get this this is the package you have to put your tube in. And then this is the... They expect me to fill this with saliva to here? Oh my gosh. What in the hell? Step three, fill to line. Spit into the funnel until the amount of liquid saliva, not bubbles, reaches the fill line shown here. I'm going to throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I don't wanna do this. Oh, <laughs> okay, guys, I'm actually stupid. So it stops right here. It doesn't go all the way down. So you only have to fill like this much. I was about to say, this feels wrong. Ugh. Come on, DNA. I don't have any more saliva. It's like the Sahara Desert. Wait a second, why does this tube say Canada on it? Oh, snap. Goodbye, DNA. It's been real. Uh, look, it's my heritage. Step eight, let the discovery begin. Once your sample has been processed, you will receive an email letting you know that the results are in. Oh my God, that's it, it's over. I was kind of having fun. All right, well now we should ship this. Have a safe trip. You will be missed. Okay, so we will be back in about a month or two. I don't know how long this takes. I, we'll see. I'll see you guys soon. The results are in. I also have my lovely grandmother here with me today. Her name is Mima. What's your real name? Ruth O'Connell. <laughs> Okay, well, she's already taken the DNA test. She's taken a different one. You took the Ancestry DNA. She is holding the key to all of my answers right now. My DNA report is on my phone. I'm gonna have her look, look at the results first. Okay, a little background. My grandmother, um, when she was 14, immigrated to America from Colombia, South Yay. America. So, I'm really excited to see my results and compare notes with her DNA results, which she so kindly printed out for us. So, I'm nervous. Okay, ready? Yeah. You've been waiting all this time? I know. Okay, I'm gonna push it. One, two, three. Whoa, Emily! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so exciting. What is it? You are so multi-ethnic. Really? Yes. Wait, really? Is it cool? My, it is so cool, Emily. Really, truly. Can I? Well, I will see. Western Asian. What? Can I look now? Yes, you can. Oh my god! <laughs> You're all over the map. <laughs> the entire world is lit up. <laughs> Your ancestors were busy <laughs> they all didn't, over the world. They didn't waste any time. <laughs> Whoa! That is amazing. Okay, start giving us. I am 80% European. Broken down, I am 32% Spanish and Portuguese in two regions. <clears throat> Whoa, this is so cool. I love it. I'm Italian. Yeah, I'm 3.4% Italian. And then I'm 12.9% broadly Southern European, which is like... What is that? Portugal, Spain, Spain yeah. Italy, Greece. Greece. Cool. Okay, then I am 28.7% Northwestern European. So that's Norway. That's why we have such that's strong why. genes. German. 
German, German and French. Yeah. <gasps> I'm 7.6% British and Irish. Yes. That's amazing. And you 0.1% Jewish. I'm <laughs> Jewish. But that's wow. that's due be, that's due to the, your Spanish ancestry because oh. in Spain the Jews um, they they lived there for over seven hundred years. Wow! Yeah. I, wow! I'm ten point five percent East Asian and Indigenous American. So Indigenous America. So that covers North America and South America. Yeah. And then I am 0.2% broadly East Asian. Oh, oh my God, that includes Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was your roots calling you I, to Korea. It was like, I come home, <laughs> come home. I'm 4.8% Sub-Saharan African. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's, that's, crazy. that's great. I mean, you have from every continent. Literally everywhere. North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa. Let's see if there's any the, um, Antarctica there. <laughs> Australia. Australia. Well, I'm 3.9% West African. I'm 2.2% Senegambian. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Guinean. Mm -hmm. And then I'm 1.7% Nigerian. Mm -hmm. uh, Congolese? Congolese? Right, yes, Congo. Yeah. Congo. Congo. That's half a half, percent. Half a percent, yeah, the other ones. I'm 0.2% Sudanese and broadly Sub-Saharan African, 0.2%. Oh, I have more African, Western, no, Asian, North and North Africa. Afri I'm 2.6% uh, Western, Asian, and North African, so 1.8% North African. From That's Morocco, Egypt. Libya, Algeria. Or no Egypt. <clears throat> uh, Libya, Algeria, and Morocco. And Tunisia. Oh, Tunisia. Tunisia. Wow, Emily. That is interesting. Wow. Oh, and it says your recent ancestry in America. In the Caribbean, that's your dad. In South America, that's your um, So those are the two regions that are your recent ancestry. I, I like the way. <laughs> I like the way that it's been. Uh, no, I like the way it's reported. I'm more Spanish than you. I'm only in three continents. Wait a second. What That's is this? it. This is her map compared to, mind you, all of the colors are where my ancestors are. Oh, show the whole atlas. <laughs> yeah. A map if is map. a globe, basically <laughs> every point to, I've been there. Well, that's what makes us you so unique. That's why you're so special. But why am I so pale? <laughs> I didn't this realize. is a good lesson, that if everyone had a DNA, they would find out how their ethnicity, how diverse it is, and how beautiful it is. Right. Because a lot of people that have found out their DNA, and they find that, you know, they are like the majority Italian, and they never knew that. All of a sudden, they have this love and this desire to go to Italy and learn about mm -hmm. the culture, and they feel they are among the family with the Italians. And so, I mean, in my opinion, having a DNA opens your possibilities over opens up your mind and it makes you feel more like a Connected. citizen of the world great moral today thank you for coming on my show Anytime. we're gonna cut to commercial <laughs> oh emily that's why you're so special i mean it that's where, where else would i find a granddaughter like this go to mozzarella <laughs> Okay, in comparison, I have 14% indigenous American, which is Colombia and Venezuela, because Colombia and Venezuela used to be one country. I have 86% wow. European. And I am Basque in Cyprus, in Scotland, in Norway, in France, in Portugal. So I got a lot of genetic Actually, tr genetics or DNA from my dad. Well, it, 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 did you have any surprise? <laughs> Were you surprised about anything? I didn't know how much, like, the, well, yeah, the African part is a little surprising. Like, look well, how much from everywhere. Like, what? Well, don't forget your father is from Puerto Rico. In, My in father's Island, from Puerto Rico. And a lot of the people, long, long, long time, the people that came from Africa, they came to the island. So, okay, you know, through true. the years, through the years, you know, that's... I just didn't realize how much would come over to me. Like, I'm over, like, I'm like 7%. 
of my DNA is Africa. We Not have more reports. Be. Neanderthal. You have more. <laughs> what? Oh my God. We did it, Emily. That is, that is, you have to show. <laughs> hey, Emily, you have more Neanderthal DNA than 43% of other customers. You inherit a small amount of DNA from your Neanderthal ancestors. Out of the 7,462 variants we tested, we found 235 variants in your DNA that trace back to the Neanderthals. So for those of you who don't know, the Neanderthals are basically the pebbles. <laughs> what are they? The, those little cavemen that are on the vitamins? <laughs> <laughs> the Flintstones. So, the Flintstones. <laughs> you have zero variants associated with having difficulty discarding rarely used possessions. Oh my goodness, yeah. that is so true. <laughs> Yeah. After she cleans her room to throw things out, I'm right behind it in the garbage <laughs> and I go, this is mine, this is mine, this is brand new, I'm giving it away. She has no heart <laughs> to Dang. throw away. You have zero variants associated with being a better sprinter than distance runner, which is true because I ran track and field for about four years of high school and I was a sprinter. She was a runner. Look, Emily, the combination of your genetics and other factors makes you likely to prefer salty or savory snacks. That's true. I love salty and savory snacks. Do you like sweet too? <laughs> no, but more so, there it is. is In my 19th chromosome. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, my entire life makes sense now. Emily, based on your genetics, you have a slightly higher than average odds of hating the sound of others chewing. I hate Misophonia. I hate it. 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 You too? It, it's the oh, oh, oh! What is it? Cilantro taste aversion. I hate cilantro. <laughs> I li I cannot stand it. You Emily, you have slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. Now you can't put cilantro on anything. I have the DNA to prove it. So, okay, so there's this thing that if you don't like cilantro, you think it tastes like soap. And like a very like small minority of people think that. I, and that's me. And it literally, why would cilantro taste soapy? You have told me that. Yeah. And I said, oh, come on, Emily. You can't really tell me that. I was struggling. Oh, poor baby. I'm sorry. I ask forgiveness. <laughs> I was eating soap all these years. <laughs> Alrighty. So today on this episode of Emily finding out her ancestry, I have found out that I am from a lot of different places. So happy to have my international Superstar. 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 Right. Yeah. Yay! Yay! All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and it was such an honor to have my grandmother oh, thank on you this for episode. Including me in this You're revealing. Welcome. This is better than the sex reveal. What? <laughs> <laughs> when you had little babies, you wanted to a boy or girl? <laughs> like a gender reveal? Yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye.